Do you know? Hmm? Shouldn't say their name. Okay. Do you know this bank with a big red sign that is basically everywhere? A lot of their customers seem to wonder why their accounts are always showing a minus, even though they keep paying into it. How is that even possible, you might ask? This bank with a big red sign is supposed to help people, but the allegations that are made over and over again for quite a while now is that they are scamming their customers for millions of euros. How is that even possible, you might ask again? Well, let's see in this video. And let's also see if you are being scammed too, maybe without even knowing it yet. I'll show you some examples of customers who got scammed, so you can learn from this and know what you can do against it. Perfinex, Personal Finance for Expats. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video from Perfinex. Today with information that will hopefully help you from being scammed. But before we start, just in case anyone associated with this big red bank is watching. All characters, companies and institutions in this video are entirely fictional. Any similarity to actual persons, living or dead, existing companies or actual events is purely coincidental and unintentional. Thank you very much. Please don't sue me now. Also, I'm not making any claims or accusations here. Everything that I'm saying is based on information in a documentary from the German Public Broadcast Service. The link to this video is in the description if you want to check it out yourself. And since a lot of our expats keep telling me how this big red bank is treating them, I did a little research. And today we'll see together what came out. This German bank with a big red sign has a lot of customers in Germany. Apparently about a third of all bank accounts in Germany are with this bank. I myself had a bank account there when I was a child. How did that become so big? Well, they're supposed to help the people like you and me. In contrast to all private banks, this big red bank is supposed to have no intention of making a profit. Sounds good, right? Problem is, they might not do their job as we as customers might expect. They might not be as trustworthy as you think they are. Which is a big problem, because you should be able to trust your bank with your hard earned money. And they should fulfill that trust you give them instead of abusing it. First of all, this big red bank has been cancelling unprofitable customers for many years now. Their bank accounts, their saving accounts, their savings contracts. Which is basically fine, right? Don't get me wrong. Everyone has to earn money for a living. You, me, this bank. But you can still do this in an honest way without scamming your customers. And by scamming, the experts in this documentary mean that this big red bank has been calculating interest rates all over Germany wrong, on purpose. Always in favor of the bank itself, of course. So if you have a loan, you have to pay more interest than you think. And if you have a bank or a savings account there, you get less interest than you think. How is that even possible? Here's how. The black line that you're seeing here is the key interest rate that the European Central Bank is setting for us in the Euro area. It's just an example, by the way, that will make you understand what's wrong. It's not the real key interest rate. And this interest rate is kind of binding for banks operating in the Euro area. That's also why almost all banks have a near zero interest rate right now. And how does a bank make money? With the green line. So in the example of you taking a credit, they'll charge you a little bit more and pocket the difference. So far, so good. Nothing wrong with that. Almost all banks in the world operate like this. But if the key interest rate gets lowered by the European Central Banks, banks have to adjust their interest rate as well immediately. If they don't do it, it's fraud. So the red areas that you see here in this chart is money that the bank is earning illegally. And that's the allegations that this big red bank just didn't adjust their interest rates that they charge customers with. And it's not just that they didn't adjust it sometimes, it's also that they supposedly increased the interest rate on purpose. The credit expert in the documentary found out that the big red bank charged sometimes twice as much interest rate as they said they were. And he certainly knows what he's talking about. He has been working on credit fraud for more than 30 years 
and found for more than 1,000 customers of this big red bank an average damage of more than 300,000 euros each. That's a lot of money. He also helped this young man finding out that he was scammed by the big red bank by 19,000 euros. This guy that he was scammed by 82,854 euros. This young lady by 90,000 euros. He was scammed by 114,000 euros. And this farmer was scammed by 230,000 euros over 30 years. And the unfortunate winner in the documentary is this business owner who was scammed by more than 1 million euro in just 10 years. And he claims that is why he had to close his business with 88 employees. And that's why he is suing the big red bank now. By the way, all of these people had to go to court in order to get their money back. Now you might ask yourself how somebody is not recognizing that a million just vanished. No reason to laugh at these guys because they got scammed. You may get scammed too by the big red bank, you just don't know it yet. Because it's not like the big red bank is deducting this in one single transaction. Let's make an example and say you have a real estate credit worth 100,000 euros. Which is not that much if you think about it. Every one of you who bought a property here in Germany already has probably taken a whole lot more than that. Let's also say that the bank is charging you just 0.1% more each year, which would be 100 euro per year or just 8 euro 33 with every monthly payment that you make. Doesn't sound that much, does it? Well, problem is that these additional 8 euro 33 are costing you interest as well. So we have the so-called compounding interest effect working here. Usually we love the compounding interest effect here on this channel because it works in your favor. This time though, it works against you. And because of this compounding interest effect, small sums of money that don't even sound that much can become an enormous amount of money over time. And that's how our poor farmer was charged 230,000 euros more in interest that he should have been paying. The trick by the big red bank is apparently always the same. Not just for interest rate they are charging on your loan, but also the interest rate they are giving you on your savings. The bank really does always win. That's what this lady from the Consumer Protection Center in Saxony, Verbraucherzentrale Sachsen in German, found out. She found accounts that were paid too little in interest. A couple of hundred euros in the smallest accounts, up to 30,000 euros missing on the highest accounts. That's a lot of money that you don't have. Which you should have. And that's not even the real damage. What all these calculations are missing is that all these poor customers of the big red bank who were scammed could have invested the money that they should have had. And with this opportunity cost, the real damage is actually much, much higher. Two questions remain. Why is the big red bank scamming its customers? And what can you do about it? The why question is very obvious. Interest rates have been falling for decades now and are near zero. So their margins got smaller and smaller. And they probably think that nobody will recognize the small amounts of money they pocket with every transaction. And there's also a lot of competition coming up with these online banks that do not have to pay for all the employees and the rent for all the branches that the big red bank has to pay for. Now, that's no excuse to scam you. There is no excuse for that. So here's what you can do in order to prevent this scam happening to you. What did we learn in this video? Let's be honest, neither you or me are ever gonna find out if the big red bank is scamming us with wrong interest rates. Why? Because we are no credit calculation experts. It took this guy, who does this for more than 30 years, weeks to calculate what's really happening. So how are you or me, people who know nothing about credit fraud, check this. It's impossible. You also don't want to randomly contact the big red bank if you have an account there with random accusations. I've seen a video that you scam your customers. Are you scamming me as well? The big red bank is probably not gonna reply. And even if they do, they'll probably let their lawyers do the talking with threatening letters. That's what they did to the people in the documentary. The most realistic thing you can do is switch banks. And that's why we created a calculator on our website perfinex.de that compares German banks for you. Just type in how much you transfer to the account each month and your average balance. 
and the calculator will show you exactly how much interest rate you're getting and how much the account is gonna cost you, if any. Most banks are still for free. And when you open an account with our calculator, we will get a bonus from whichever bank you choose. This way you can support our project at no cost for you. Personal and honest thank you from me. My personal recommendations are either ING or Comdirect. I've been using both for years and I'm very happy with them. Link to the calculator on our website as well as ING and Comdirect is in the description if you don't want to go through the calculator first. See you next week everybody and don't let anybody scam you.